Technician 775 here. This is a quick video on packaging the powdered milk into food saver bags. Uh, I had a question about uh, about how to do that. Uh, one of the ways I know to do it, what I've done, I've just opened up one of the jars that I packaged the other day and I'm not going to go out and buy any more because I've got plenty of it. But anyways, we'll just kind of reuse this same stuff right here if I don't make a mess everywhere. Um, just took a uh, just a quart jar and oh well, hey I'm lucky all right a uh, quart jar and a quart ziploc bag uh, type of uh, slider uh, slider storage bag uh, nothing special about them okay now what we're going to do is close this up almost all the way and leave about maybe uh, about a half an inch open or we can close it all the way like this and take our scissors and just make a small little nip in the side right there you don't want to make too big of a nip Okay, with that done, and I've got a uh, food saver bag I've already cut uh, to length. I laid out one of the bags just to see how, how long it was and added a couple of inches to it, you know, so nothing special about that. Okay, what we're going to do is put the other end of the bag opposite from where we're going to be uh, vacuum sealing. Lay this down and kind of just kind of pat it out in, in place like that. Okay, you could probably do maybe a gallon Ziploc or half a gallon Ziploc. I don't know how to make them. And, but this is, a, uh, this is just one way to take and do it. Again, what we did was put the bag in the opposite way. And so when, it, when actually this pulling the vacuum on this side right here, we don't get any of the powder up into our food saver machine. So with that said, I'm gonna try to take and get this thing in. All right, I'm gonna be smarter than the food saver machine there, Steve-O. Okay, all right, no kinks, no, you know, probably could have got by with the narrower uh, food saver bag, but this was out handy and, and pretty much available right there. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and, and vacuum seal it. Okay, um, let's try maybe making a couple of nips because this didn't suck down actually like I wanted it to. So I don't know if that, but I don't want to make too many holes in it because I don't want the, the powdered milk to come up and out into our food saver machine and do any damage to it. So let's try this one more time. All right, try it one more time. Make sure there's no creases in the in the food saver machine. It's up where it's supposed to be. And we're getting good suction on the bar. Put a little pressure down here. It's still pulling. It's still pulling. It's still vacuuming out. It's going to take probably just a little extra time since it's, it, the vacuum has to come out just through the two little nips that we did on the side right there. And this is actually vacuuming up, vacuuming up pretty, pretty well. Okay. Put a seal to it. All right. Hold it there for a second. And move it back about a quarter of an inch, a little bit less, maybe a little more. And about right there and put a second seal. And I normally hold it just for a second or two just so the, the heat transfers through it. And it looked like it actually sealed up pretty good. Uh, I don't have that, I don't know, I just have bad luck, whatever it is, but we did some Zatarain's rice, um, Zatarain's yellow rice and some other uh, rices. And I did, I just took a food saver bag, a long one like this, and packed them, you know, top on top on top on top, you know, two, two like this. And this one didn't seal. Okay, now the other one I did, and I did these at the same time, this one worked perfect. Okay, don't know. Um, I just have bad luck with these bags. I don't know. It's, maybe it's just me. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna actually going to transfer these right here to a mason jar. Um, this is my favorite. So, okay. I just wanted for y'all to take and see how we did this right here. It can be done instead of just leaving it loose in there, put it in a Ziploc and turn it the opposite way and it seals it up just fine and write you a date on there. 
With that said, Technician 775 saying thank you very much for all the compliments and everything, and we're signing off.